In our previous lecture, we have already discussed about annuity. Annuity has three characteristics. An annuity has multiple cash flows. The cash flows are equal and the cash flows are generated at fixed interval of time. Annuities are of two types. One is the ordinary annuity and another one is annuity due. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the difference between ordinary annuity and annuity due. An ordinary annuity generates cash flows at the end of periods. If we look at the cash flow timeline, I want to remind you that the point zero is actually the beginning of year one and the point one is the end of year one. Similarly, point two is the end of year two and where is the beginning of year two? That is the point one. Okay, so as I have said, in case of ordinary annuity, the cash flows will be generated at the end of year one, at the end of each year. So let us try to see when, uh, which cash flow is the year one cash flow. As you can see, the year one cash flow is generated at the end of year one. And year two cash flow is generated at the end of year two and year three cash flow is generated at the end of year three. And the last cash flow, this is the year N cash flow. Now let us, let us discuss about annuity due. The annuity due is different from ordinary annuity because it generates cash flows at the beginning of periods. So if you, if you look at the timeline, cash flow timeline again, Year one cash flow is generated not at the point one but at the point zero. Why? Because this is the beginning of year one. And similarly, the year two cash flow is generated at point one. So sometimes people become confused. Uh, okay, they think that the, this cash flow is actually year one cash flow. But in case of annuity due, it is actually year two cash flow. And year three cash flow is generated at point two. That means at the beginning of year three. So if we look uh, these two types of annuities side by side, we'll be able to see the difference very clearly. So in this case, you can see the first cash flow of ordinary annuity is generated at the end of year one, which is shown at point one. In contrast, the first cash flow of an annuity due is generated at point zero which is the beginning of year one. And you can see the last cash flow of ordinary annuity is at point N for, the, for this annuity. And for the similar annuity, but only because it is an annuity due, the last cash flow will instead be in year N minus one, at point N minus one. So although this is N minus one, uh, it is showing at point N minus one, but it is actually the cash flow of year N, which is generated at the beginning of year N. Thank you very much for attending the lecture. See you again.